Hello guys, this is the review for the Nerf Rival Takedown. This is the original packaging that the Nerf gun comes with. And it's actually a pretty nice package. I actually happen to really like the color scheme. It does give an accurate representation of the gun. It's about the right size. And yeah, but nonetheless, it's still a cardboard prison. So let's free the Nerf gun. Alright, so here we got the takedown. So um, straight out of the gate, I want to mention this thing is basically a reskinned Cronus. And uh, before someone out there goes, no, it's not a Cronus, it can't be a Cronus, it's pump action. What are you talking about? They're completely different actions. See? This is top prime. And this is pump action. Well, pretty much it has the exact same internals. It has the exact same kind of magazine. I mean, sorry, internal magazine. However, this one does have a higher capacity. The actual package out of the box contains the takedown and eight rounds, which is its capacity. These rounds are branded Nerf rounds, obviously. Its capacity is eight, so it does have a higher capacity than the Cronus. But it's still a very similar system, I guess. And yeah. So it gets a little hard to stuff in that many rounds, but you can. And it does work. So as I was gonna say, yeah, this is not a versus review, so I'm not going to keep comparing this to the Cronus anymore. So, I'm going to get on to the product details now. Alright, so, we do have a shotgun grip, very similar to yours truly, the rough cut. Very similar actual body proportions as the rough cut. We do have a versus review on that, and it'll probably appear in a card right above there. And anyways, so, once we prime this... It reveals this hatch. This hatch is actually the door to the internal magazine. So you just shove a ball in, or actually you should probably shove in two because the takedown has a weird thing where the first ball has to be very precise. But if you put in two balls, you don't have to be precise anymore. And it fires. Every time you do it, it will open. This is not like the Cronus that has a flap there. And... It's actually a little smaller than the Cronus is, so you do have to be more precise on that. But it's not a huge deal. The prime itself isn't very hard. I would consider maybe, I don't know, about 10 years. Um, I bet a 10-year-old can use this, actually. It might be hard for them, but a 10-year-old can probably use this, but they'll probably feel a stiff prime. And, yeah... The age that they say on Nerf isn't the most accurate, in my p opinion. Like, maybe they do it for safety reasons, because this Nerf gun and the Nexus Pro are in the exact same age range, apparently. But they shoot at completely different levels. So, I don't know. I feel like Nerf puts the age a little high. We have a sight... In the front and the side in the back but they're not corresponding there is no hole there uh, however um i happen to kind of like it it takes a little bit more skill but i feel like the sight's more or less accurate like if you're shooting at a person you'll probably hit as long as you go in the middle of their body i wouldn't advise with almost any nerf gun to shoot at like the edges of their body that's asking to be a miss um here we have the hop-up controller in the front, as you can see. That is, removable, that is removable for mods. Now, we all know it's not very good to dry fire a Nerf gun. So instead of me having to dry fire it right now, I'll be using the deep prime button on the side. So this does open it up against um, its will, I guess, after you already primed it. But you have to shove a little harder to actually be able to push it back because if you just do it like this gently it won't pull back because you have to 
move it just a little bit more. So if you're in a, in a battle, you have to slam it down with force. So once you actually prime this, from my knowledge, the only way you can tell if it's primed is from this part right here. And it changes color once you fire. Or more accurately, the yellow part. It goes back into the inside, but it appears to change color. So, before we get on to the firing demo, in my opinion, I do want to state that once you put these two balls in, or once you put more than one, and you prime it, you can shotgun load this. So what you need to do is you have to go here, click the deep prime again. You should probably slam this forward. I didn't slam it hard enough right there. And then once you pull it back, it's going to fire two rounds off. It doesn't fire them as strong, but you have the nice option of being able to shotgun load this. Speaking of um, shotgun loading, the takedown is not the same as the Atlas. So, but they do look similar. Here, I'll show you actually. Here's the Atlas, here's the takedown. They have some similarities, they're both rival, but like these aren't the same gun. This one shoots two rounds per prime. This one's mag fed, jams a lot more. This one, hardly jams, is internally mag fed. And we're just different, so i like to let you know, lots of rival nerf blasters do look different. So you should probably look closely at packaging if you're not very experienced with nerf. More experienced nerfers might not have this problem, but sometimes it is kind of easy to be confused by similarly looking things and similarly colored things. So that's just a heads up. A quick note that I made after filming the part about no slings. Again, shame you nerf. Someone I know is going to say that this can be a sling, but basically only very special slings are going to fit in there. You'd have to be looking for a very special one, and I wouldn't think it's a very effective way to sling a takedown. They honestly should have just put one here. But they probably won't, to be honest. And yeah. Now on to the firing demo. I will be using the takedown. Um, maybe like 10-ish feet away. And I will be reloading it one time for an accurate, you know, to see how long the reload would take. And I will see how many times I can land shots on it to test the accuracy. So, I'll start now. One. Missed Oh no, did it jam? Still hit. And we're out from the first mag. And we're out of the second mag. 
So I have one last one to show you how fast reloading one is. As you see, reloading one is pretty fast, but reloading two is actually faster because you don't have the chance of misfiring where it'll do a dry fire, which is pretty odd. So if you have two, you should probably put in two rather than one. It might actually be quicker than having to pump it again. And we can see the accuracy is very great because I didn't miss a single shot, even when I started going pretty fast. And I kept shooting around the same place. Very good dispersion for being a one-shot nerf blaster. So that is it for the firing, sorry, the firing demo. Now we will get on to my personal opinions. So now, down to my personal opinions. Overall, I think that the takedown is amazing, okay? So it definitely has modding potential. We actually happen to have a modified one. It has um, speed loaders on the sides. It's not mine though, but we do happen to have one in our studio. Um, what? My mind just went blank for a second. Okay, so back to the thing. I actually love this pump action. It's so smooth in my opinion. It's not like, it's a decent prime, but this thing has really good mobility. I can jump pretty high with this. It doesn't weigh that much. And you could use it very controlledly, as you can see here. At, as I shake it, it doesn't go up and down like this. It just stays still, which will deem you very well in close quarters. It has, like, really, really good accuracy, especially for a rival blaster. Uh, it doesn't have slam fire, but for $20, this is like, for the price point of $20 exactly, this is my top recommendation. It would have been the Strife, but Nerf discontinued it. Yeah, but now that that's gone, this thing is the number one recommendation for $20 if you're looking for a Springer. For $25, though, you can get a Neon Pro, which is very similar to the Nexus Pro, but in a pistol form, though the Prime is very heavy. The takedown is personally, basically my favorite sawn-off shotgun style nerf gun. I can get a lot of kills of this in battle. Like many, many kills of this, I've tried it out. And I do not regret this purchase at all. I can completely recommend this purchase. And yet again, it is your opinion, whether you wanna purchase this or not. I'm just stating my opinion and listing the facts. So you guys can decide if you wanna buy it or not. Or if it's a good gift or something like that. This is my opinions. So, of course, I'm not forcing you to buy anything. And that is it. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time on the channel.